These vehicles, powered by wood as fuel, didn't run on steam, but rather on wood gas. During World War II, over a million wood gas vehicles were in use. Due to gasoline shortages, many private cars, trucks, buses, tractors, and even motorcycles, trains, boats, and tanks across Europe were converted to run on wood gas. Countries like Sweden, France, Denmark, Finland, and Australia each had tens of thousands of these vehicles. But when it comes to numbers, Germany led the way. By the end of the war, Germany had around 500,000 wood gas vehicles, making them far more popular than electric cars are today. Typically, these vehicles had a furnace mounted at the rear. The key to their operation was that the wood had to undergo incomplete combustion. As we learned in elementary school, carbon reacting with steam at high temperatures produces carbon monoxide and hydrogen. For this process to work, the wood couldn't be too dry or too wet. The ideal condition was a low oxygen environment that allowed the wood to burn incompletely, producing about 40% carbon monoxide and hydrogen. The remaining 50% was mostly nitrogen, which is useless as a fuel. The gas generated would then be piped to the front of the vehicle. These pipes were typically mounted externally and looked rather unattractive. Mounting them inside the car was dangerous. A hydrogen-oxygen explosion could lead to an instant game over. At the front of the car, there was a sedimentation tank. As wood burned, it naturally produced oil, soot, and ash. As the vehicle vibrated during operation, the ash would settle in this tank, effectively acting as an ash collector. Sometimes, a filter was added to improve the process. Once the gas passed through the sedimentation tank and a radiator to cool it down, it would finally enter the engine for combustion. This was the standard design, although variations existed. For example, some vehicles towed a furnace behind them, while pickups and trucks often had the entire system installed in the cargo area. In more advanced models, the system was hidden so well that you couldn't tell it was a wood gas vehicle at all, with the furnace tucked away in the trunk. Back then, burning 200 pounds of wood provided a driving range similar to using 10 gallons of gasoline. Just like we have gas stations today, there were wood fuel stations back then. Germany alone had around 3,000 such stations. After World War II, with gasoline once again in plentiful supply, wood gas vehicles quickly became obsolete.